All right, now turning back to weather, it is hot, it is really hot, and it is super hot. All yes. right, can we say yes, that? Yes, hot. Say, yes. Too many times today, Danny. Yeah, it's our official high was 1 billion degrees. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not true, but it is so hot out there. Luckily, we do have a little relief coming as monsoon moisture returns. It'll start to work back in tomorrow, bringing a little more cloud cover, and then by Wednesday, temperatures will drop drastically. So we do have slightly cooler conditions ahead today, though. Man, it is hot out there. At least it's nice out there. Mandalay Bay camera looking beautiful. We actually have an excessive heat warning in place for the valley until 10 o'clock tonight. So that continues for the next uh, five hours or so because of just how hot these temperatures are. It's never a, a good thing when this shade of dress matches the temperature map and that's what's happening right now. 114 at Overton or in Overton 109 for Boulder City 111 in Las Vegas right now 87 on Mount Charleston. When we zoom into the valley, you see those temperatures uh, solidly in the triple digits for most 112 for Henderson 113 is where we landed or where we're at right now for downtown Las Vegas 104 at Red Rock. As uh, you head out the door, it's not just the heat that you're going to notice, but it's also that wind speed. It's pretty breezy 10 to 15, so it's having that blow dryer effect where it's the really hot wind that's just hitting you in the face as well. So there's not a lot of relief from the heat uh, yet. As we head into tonight, our temperatures will drop to the 80s for most, so it is going to be a pretty warm night ahead. And then tomorrow, although yes, we are going to still be slightly above average, certainly a better place than where we landed today. The forecast high for Las Vegas is 107 tomorrow, 102 in Summerlin, 105 in Anthem. So still hot, but not nearly as brutal as what we dealt with today. And the reason for that is some of that moisture starting to move in. Satellite and radar pretty quiet right now. Just a few of those thin, uh, thin high clouds mixing in. As we head into tomorrow morning, the sunny skies continue. And then tomorrow afternoon, it does look like we get a little bit of that cloud cover moving in ahead of the storm chances returning by Wednesday. So that's kind of our next round of the monsoon moisture that's pushing in from the south. Tomorrow's our transition day, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday is when we see that chance and possibility for a few scattered showers. At this point, Wednesday is looking like a better day than Thursday. And as we head into Friday, it looks like things will dry out once again. So at least the upside is uh, temperatures will be capped a little bit once that moisture returns. And as we head into the weekend, we're right around average. So today, definitely the hottest day of the next seven. Tomorrow, backing off a little bit. By Wednesday, we're going to drop drastically, but those storm chances work in.